Hi, I'm Tim, and welcome to Watch You On. Thanks for logging on. Today, we're looking at what may be the definitive Hublot of the modern era. You're looking at the Hublot Big Bang Gold Ceramic, 44 millimeter, 18 karat rose gold. This watch combines three threads of human guiding light inspiration at Hublot, and three distinct materials that each of them has sort of brought on in turn and contributed to the mix. Now, it starts in 1980. Hublot, unlike many watchmakers like Vacheron, Constantin, Jacques Hedro, Blancpain, Girard, Perigot, all of which either have or claim to have lineage dating back to the 18th century, Hublot, in fact, can be dated pretty definitively to 1980. When Italian watchmaker and jewelry designer Carlo Crocco emigrated from Italy, he of the Binda Italian watchmaking dynasty, struck out on his own, went to Geneva, and flying solo, founded what was then known as MDM Geneva, which in 1980 released its debut product, the Hublot. At the time, it was not the name of the company, but the name of the watch, the porthole in French. The Hublot combined a gold case, a precious metal, with base material, a rubber strap. At the time, it was considered scandalous, but in time, virtually every high-end watchmaker, from Patek Philippe to Audemars Piguet, copped the look. And by the early 2000s, Hublot had found its thunder stolen and its momentum robbed by its erstwhile detractors. Enter Jean-Claude Biver in 2004. 2004, Biver buys into the company, becomes an equity holder, becomes CEO, and single-handedly resurrects the company's flagging fortunes with the 2005 Big Bang. Now, the Big Bang was a revitalization of that original MDM Geneva Hublot. It took the gold, it took the rubber, but it added depth, it added expression, it, start, it took a page from Audemars Piguet's playbook and brought the machine from the inside out, a bigger, bolder 44 millimeter sports watch for the 2000s, a time that was larger than life, louder than life, and kind of caught up in the financial maelstrom of the securitized bond real estate market. That was a watch of its times. Every inch, the 59 Cadillac of its era. The Big Bang was arguably the it watch of the 2000s, and it continues to this era. Hublot continues to ride the wave of the success of the Big Bang and the King Power with this 44 millimeter Big Bang gold ceramic. But unlike the 59 Cadillac, the Hublot continues to evolve from that early gold and rubber watch that became the Big Bang. This one takes all of those original elements, and it combines the first two materials the rubber and the gold, with the Big Bang design and a ceramic bezel, and that's the key innovation. A ceramic bezel, carbon fiber dial, materials innovation propels this watch into the second decade of the 21st century, and it does so with tremendous momentum behind it. Now this is the sportier of two references known as the Big Bang Gold Ceramic, and I'm going to explain the difference between this one and the stick index. Uh, standard model. The first difference and the biggest difference is that this one features Arabic numerals on the dial. The standard one features stick indexes. This one also features carbon fiber base dial. So you've actually got four unique materials here. Carbon fiber, indelible ceramic bezel, 18 karat rose gold case, and a black rubber strap. Now all of these things define Hublot as a company that's committed to materials fusion and also materials innovation and a little bit of experimentation in the combination thereof. I should also mention that this one features unique shocks of red in the minutes track on the subdials and also the chronograph seconds hand. That again, just to find it as a little bit sportier than its stick index stable mate. That one's perhaps a bit more the dress watch. This one's a little bit more versatile. It'll wear well with a suit because after all, it is a beautiful combination of brushed and polished rose gold. But those extra details on the dial, especially the carbon fiber and the red signatures, really make the difference and set this one apart. Set it, I'd say, head and shoulders above, not just previous Big Bangs, but at least for casual wear purposes, above its stick index counterpart in the catalog. Now, like I said, three men sort of contributed to the design ethic of this watch. First there was Croco, then there was Biver, and Ricardo Guadalupe, the current CEO of the company, again, is kind of informing design now. He's the one who's responsible primarily for materials innovations like the, the use of ceramic in the 44 millimeter models, carbon fiber dials, the diversity within the catalog to have both the stick and the Arabic numerals. So you've kind of got three men and this is their baby, the current generation 44 millimeter Big Bang Gold ceramic. It's still a very practical daily wear watch and I can't overemphasize that that first Hublot was a watch designed to be worn on all occasions. The Big Bang of 2005, again, if you had the confidence to pull it off in a suit, it was good to go. And this watch is just as durable and everyday usable as any Rolex. 
automatic winding. It also features a chronograph, which is the king of complications, and you'll find no shortage of uses for this, whether it's timing the intervals between business meetings before you've got to get back to the boardroom or cooking at home. I often say if you're timing the kids' time out, it's great to have handy. But the bottom line is, between the stopwatch function, the jump date, three-hand time, and automatic winding, you've got just about everything you need for an everyday wearable watch. Throw in 10 ATM water resistance, and the versatility of this watch with the rubber strap becomes quite apparent. This one can also get wet. So this is a fantastic reference for the man who's looking for a gold watch that's not too formal, but at the same time a sports watch that has an air of elegance and refinement to it, and that's really where the rose gold comes into play. Now I'll mention, with a gold sports watch, there's going to be a lot of concern about scratching the case. The good news is Hublot's mostly got you covered. Because the bezel on this watch is so pronounced and it is indelible ceramic, it's just as hard as the sapphire crystal. So it's less, not only is it almost completely immune to scratches. Really, only diamond can reliably scratch this material, but this bezel has a degree of projection that means almost all knocks and scuffs are going to be absorbed by the bezel and not the case itself. And anyone who's had a traditional Rolex or Omega Seamaster or even an Audemars Piguet Offshore can basically attest to that. The bezel takes most of the knocks, and this one's tough enough to roll with the punches. So, this watch is a fantastic fusion, to use that Hublot buzzword, of the past, present, and future of the company in terms of style, in terms of materials, in terms of the personality who inform its design, and in the case of Ricardo Guadalupe, the catalog structure in which it now sits as the sportier of the two Big Bang Gold ceramic models. See it with 100% original boxes, papers, technical manuals, and documents of provenance on our website, Watch You Want. And if you want to see arguably the definitive face of Hublot, look no further than this Big Bang Gold Ceramic.